Is Clove gonna go up? Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. I am your host, Young Buffett, the youngest Buffett of them all. If you are new here, stop what you're doing, scroll down, hit that subscribe button, then you won't be new here anymore. What we're doing is we're picking and choosing momentum stocks, meme stocks, stocks that are subject to short squeezes, stocks that look fun to invest in, and so on. So if you're new here, where have you been? Hmm? Where have you been all my life? I've been on Ape Wisdom. This site tracks Wall Street Bets, Wall Street Bets New, Wall Street Bets Elite, Stocks, Investing, SPACs, Options, and Day Trading subreddits. Everyone's favorite broker, favorite, Robinhood IPO today, and then just robbed everybody. <laughs> so let's bear with me for a second. Let's take a look at this real quick with a 46 46% overall positive sentiment on the hood ipo today with 1807 mentions ipo short buy buying puts up bought fuck lie people open lol robin hood shorting and down that's what people are talking about when they're looking at the robin hood ipo i just thought that's funny most talked about stock in the past 24 hours. Obviously, it's exciting. It's new. It's one of the first times that you can buy a stock on the actual company that is the stock. Spy, again, just chilling, doing its thing. AMD has been just killing it. I don't know if you guys have been watching AMD, but their stock has been killing it. GameStop making its way back up the list to top four. Tilray, that's going to be gone soon. AMC working its way back up. Facebook, Cleveland Cliff, Tesla, Amazon, Nokia, Nikola, Alibaba, Wish, Clover. This is the lowest I've seen it in a while. And that is actually very well uh, showcased in the volume of which the shares are being traded at. Nearby words, bag, holding, GME, holders, moon, buy, like, shit, SoFi, AMC, BB, workhorse, spy, AMD, CLNE. Overall, 60% positive sentiment. 117 mentions, 60% sentiment. Overall, the vibe that I'm getting from Ape Wisdom and Wall Street Bets and stuff, and uh, even the Clove Discord and the Clove Reddit, people are just holding. It is what it is. Uh, at this point, it's a waiting game. There's some catalysts coming up that we'll talk about. So this is Swaggy Stocks. Talks about Wall Street Bets most talked about stocks. And Clove is all the way down here. It, it did make its way up. It was like over here a couple days ago. But jumping into my favorite chart, this shows price of the stock versus comment volume, positive and negative sentiment. Clove stock is kind of chilling out. Went up yesterday, almost ended up green today, but ended up red again. So the price is just chilling out. Comment volume does seem to kind of want to go up here a little bit. We will see how that plays out. Jumping over to stock grids, dark pool data. Good old dark pool data shows us a negative $643 million position shorted. Net short volume is negative 3.2, negative 27.3 in net short volume in dollars. Lots of dark pool activity, guys. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I mean, honestly, people are just buying the stock, shorting the stock, borrowing the shares, buying it back in dark pool, selling it, creating some sort of artificial sell pressure that just keeps the stock pinned at this eight below below nine price level i mean it just keeps bouncing back and forth doing its thing it goes up a little bit everybody gets a little excited and then it just kind of mellows out a little bit and then it goes up again and then everyone gets excited and then it goes back down a little bit and it's just creating some psychological tiredness 
So I bought Ortex so you don't have to. Price targets haven't changed from analysts. Short interest went down 0.91% today. But dude, even this today has been up and down like crazy. They just keep buying shares, shorting shares, borrowing shares, shorting shares. It just, I don't know. I don't care about this data anymore. <laughs> Days to cover should be going up actually. Uh, volume is going down. Uh, I've said it in my videos. You need days to cover to go up. Um, it just makes it a lot harder for people who are shorting the stock. Which comes back to this Reddit post I saw from Treat Scary. I posted this three hours ago. There are a lot of catalysts coming up. And this is what I want people to start focusing on. Ever since I've been making daily videos on Reddit, I've it's been really apparent to me that there's not enough things happening every single day for you to want to keep up to date if that makes any sense um it there's really just catalysts that we're looking forward to that will really determine what's going to happen with the price of the stock so warrants being bought back new sec rules bill for short positions to be reported as well as jail time for violators plus big fines and my favorite earnings on the 11th low volume only makes it makes the days to cover look good that is true so something else that's averaging down this is a post by n swimmer 89 uh, investors aren't the only thing averaging down for clove as has been posted here before but i'll elaborate on we're also seeing a reduction in volume recently a lot of people have been talking about the volume coming down and here's why this matters Days to cover is a known factor in a short squeeze potential, and I believe Fintel uses it in their squeeze score. That is true. This important metric is calculated by dividing the current shorted shares by the average daily volume. So in case you guys didn't know what days to cover means, days to cover measures the expected number of days to close out a company's outstanding shares that have been sold short. Days to cover is a temporal indication of the short interest in a company stock days to cover is calculated by taking the quantity of shares that are currently sold and dividing it by the amount of the stock is daily average trading volume a high days to cover measurement can signal a potential short squeeze so lower the volume higher the days to short days to cover higher the chance of a short squeeze so the more the volume averages down the more you're reducing the denominator of that calculation which increases the quotient of that calculation. Hedgies further increase the quotient when they add shorted shares. Why does that sound like a tongue twister? <laughs> they know this. They now have to rely on doubling down along with FUD as days to cover increases along with getting closer to earnings announcement. Hedge funds know retails have metrics on their side and it scares the naked shorts off of them. That is not financial advice. Yeah. That is accurate. That is true. Um, so keeping an eye on days to cover, keeping an eye on how much of the float is currently shorted. Ortex says 22.67% of the float is shorted. I think that is a low number. I think more of the float might actually be shorted here. Uh, I might have to dig around and find some other metrics and data. If you guys know of any other numbers, please let me know in the comments. Uh, or if you guys have any other resources, maybe like Fintel or something like that, maybe we can take a look at what other um, percent of float people are saying. Clove, the stock, let's take a look at the intraday and see how it did. I'll give you guys my quick little fun breakdown here. Opened up at 847 and then it literally does the same exact thing every single day. If you don't believe me, look at the other days. It just opens and then comes down and then goes up. People get excited and then it comes right back down and then people go, oh no, bye. And then it goes back up to the previous clothesline and then it kind of just mellows out and consolidates a little bit and then it goes woo and then people get excited and then it kind of comes back down but it didn't go down below and then it kind of consolidated and then it went back up and then everyone's super excited and then it kind of held over there and consolidated so that's good it's holding up it's green and then it comes back down and then it kind of consolidates over here and it's kind of close to the previous clothesline and we're getting kind of nervous and it kind of just slowly starts edging its way down then it finally breaks the previous clothesline whoop and then that previous clothesline kind of then acts as a point of resistance as it tries to go back green, but it does not. 
So then it just keeps falling and keeps falling and eventually closes in the red. Um, at least it didn't go even lower. But honestly, whatever. Um, we are just holding our beautiful, beautiful 309 shares um, and a call position for August. Um, these 309 shares, just to recap, if you guys are new, we bought 100 at 1380, another 100 at 1015, another 5, and another 3 at around 9. We got those because we sold puts and then used that premium to buy those shares. So I have 9 free shares. Then we averaged another 50 at 820, bought another 50 at 890, bought another one with premium that we got from selling a put. So I haven't bought anything since. It's been a while, uh, honestly, because it's just kind of consolidating here and I don't want to keep pouring money into it. I already scaled into the amount that I wanted to allocate to the stock. I'll take a look at where the price is when we get a little bit closer to earnings. Earnings is coming up on the 11th. That is going to be a huge catalyst for the stock, either up or down. But honestly, how much more down could this thing go? Could Clove go to five? I don't I don't want to say yes, but it totally could, but I don't think it would. That's the thing. There's too many people holding this stock. There's too many people who keep buying this stock. It is heavily, heavily manipulated, so it might have a little scare down to seven. I do get nervous anytime it goes below eight. Um, however, we need this thing to go up. My cost basis right now is... $10.78. So I need this stock to go above $10.78. Um, and I think it totally could. Honestly, if this thing wasn't as manipulated as it, as it is, this thing should be anywhere from $10 to $15 to $20 a share. So with that, hit that like button if you agree. I will catch you guys on the next video. I get back to every comment. So please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I love you.